Hi, I'm Jamie Anderson, and in this lesson video, I'm going to talk about why what you're playing may not sound like the original song. Before we get started, hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell, and let's get started. First of all, take into account studio magic. There's all kinds of things they can do in a studio to make it sound different. That guitar player may have recorded her part in 10 different parts, and then the engineer will take the best part from each one of those takes and put them all together in one take. So you're trying to copy what was done by a studio musician in 10 different takes. Don't sweat it. Get as close as you can, enjoy it, and have fun. When you're watching a video or something on TV and it's supposed to be live, even if you see people standing there with instruments, it's not always live. Sometimes they're playing to tracks, meaning some of it's been pre-recorded. So even though somebody's standing up there with a guitar and they're playing, they may not really be playing. It's always interesting to me when I watch those singing shows. Yes, I do watch the singing shows. <laughs> and the band will drop out for a split second and the person singing is strumming, but you can't hear a guitar. Hmm, that's a little fishy to me. So, studio magic, keep all that in mind. It might be in a different key. That could be why what you're playing sounds different than the original. So I'll give you an example. So if I was going to play uh, House of the Rising Sun, E minor, it would sound like this. There is a house in New Orleans. That's pretty low for me. What if I wanted to raise it? There is a house in New Orleans. Much better for me. Doesn't mean that it's wrong. It doesn't mean that I'm playing it just like the animals or whoever I'm trying to copy. It's just in a different key. Playing solo is a lot different than playing with a band. And oftentimes what we hear on YouTube, what we hear on Spotify and all the streaming platforms is that we're hearing a whole band. So the song is going to sound different if it's got a bass player and drums and backup singers and a horn section and you know all that other stuff going on. Sometimes it's even hard to hear the guitar. Sometimes you have to listen really hard for that guitar because they put it back into the mix. Sometimes there really isn't a guitar. And that's alright too. I've learned plenty of songs where a piano is the main instrument. It's still possible. You're still playing the song. It's not going to sound exactly like the recording and that's okay. For beginners, you may have to simplify some of the chords that you're playing. So if you're looking at the music and it says E minor 7th with the G bass and you're like, I have no idea what that is. Try an E minor. That may work just fine. Put an E minor in the song and again, it may not sound exactly like the original, but it may work. So feel like it's uh, simplifying a chord is not cheating, it's just making it a little easier. And again, it's not going to sound exactly like the original, but does it really matter? Because actually, the only time it matters is if you're in a cover band and somebody's paying you a lot of money to play every song note for note. Eh, if you're just playing by yourself and having fun, if you're jamming with your friends, if you're playing at church, if you're playing for your grandkids, whatever you're doing, they're not going to care if it's note for note. Just do your best with it and have a good time with it. Please support me on Patreon. Uh, teaching and performing is one of the ways that I support myself and I will put a link to Patreon underneath this. And for a very small fee, you'll get some really great benefits like advanced videos. So I will post videos at Patreon before I post them to YouTube. I have exclusive live streams and other benefits too. Please check out my channel. I've got lots of lessons for guitar players. I also teach mandolin and ukulele. If you go to jamieanderson.com, you'll find out more about my original music. And that's also where you can contact me if you're interested in private Skype lessons. Thanks for tuning in. It means a lot to me.